Here we are with our completed cast on. I have 18 stitches now on the needle, not counting this slip knot. I've just finished casting on my last set of stitches, which is two. Now in order for this to work as a provisional cast on, you have to first work a foundation row. So I turn my knitting, and we're not using the waist yarn anymore, so you can just put that to the back. And with our sock yarn, we're going to purl through the back stitch of the first needle. Now if purling through the back stitch is kind of hard for you to understand, think of it as the needle entering the stitch from the left to the right in the back. And we can zoom in on this so you get a closer view. And your needle enters into that stitch from left to right. Now you're probably thinking that there's no earthly way you can purl while in this position, but you just flip your right hand needle up so it's crossed over the left hand needle. So that was slow motion, but once you get the hang of it, you can achieve this pretty quickly by just going in this way. And now we're going to purl that first stitch with our sock yarn. And once it's purled, we're going to move it back to the left hand needle. We're going to slip it purl wise and we're just going to purl it one more time. Now we do that with the first stitch of the row and we also do it with the last stitch of the row. So I'm just going to purl across my row now until I reach the last stitch of the row, the one just before the slip knot. Now I'm purling by holding the yarn in my right hand, but if you held your yarn in your left hand, you would just purl across in the way that you're accustomed to purling. I purl by using my thumb to pass the yarn over. So we're working towards the end of our row and you'll get to see purl through the back loop one more time when I reach that last stitch before the slip knot. And we're almost there. And we are there. Okay, now this is with the yarn held in the left hand. The needle goes into the stitch in the back from left to right. Sometimes it needs a little assistance. It's purled. We slip that stitch back again purlwise and we purl it one more time. And here's our slip knot and we're just going to drop that off the needle. You can pull it out if you want. And there's our foundation row. And now once you have that first row done, you can see now where your provisional stitches are going to be. And there are two stitches right on the bead of the waist yarn. And now when we come back, I'm going to have this top side of the toe knit up. So I will be starting here and I'll work up to here. And then I will show you how to pull this waist yarn out to get your live stitches.